Hey, how's it going? I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts today, and the guy is talking about the death of the middle class and how it's all caused by the government indoctrination camps, commonly referred to as public schools. And I agree with a lot of what he says, that schools really are making people dumber. He said there's a study on it that schools are actually making people dumber. And the evidence that he gave didn't really prove that. It just shows something that's happened over this group of kids' lives. And it doesn't give any other example. It doesn't say, well, what are the kids like who never went to school? Because they don't have that. Anyway, so while it wasn't really scientifically correct, I do believe the schools do a rotten job of education nowadays simply based on attempting to talk to people. That's my opinion. <laughs> anyway, what goes along with this government indoctrination camp is the idea that you study hard, you get a good job, and then your, your life is taken care of. And this is really not, it's, it's not even worth consideration, let alone true. I, it's so funny because I know guys, if you, if you go to school for three weeks or whatever to learn how to drive a truck, and you gotta be 21 years old, they're trying to make it 18, but right now it's 21. At 21 years old, three weeks of school, it can't cost more than 10 grand. You'd have to look it up. It was it was only like 2,500 or three grand when I went, but that was ancient history. So figure it costs 10 grand. But your first year out, you can make 40, 50 grand. And you know, if you're if you've been doing it a while and you didn't pay a good amount, it's no trick at all to make 7,500 grand a year. And I don't, I don't know if that's something you want to do because, well, there's money and there's a lot of downside. Point is, all of the things that they say you get from a college education don't necessarily hold true. So what do you think high school is worth? I, I, I'm not suggesting that anybody drop out of school or anything. I'm just saying that if you want to learn things, there are probably better ways to learn them than in a government school, in my opinion. So anyway, let's say you're like me and it's way too late to, to skip school or not go to college or whatever, and you've been doing different jobs for your whole life. By now, you must have realized if you're over the, if you're over the age of 30, at least, hopefully you realize before that, by now, you must have realized that whatever you're doing probably is not going to work. It's not going to make things happen. If you're 30 years old, look 30 years out and see doing this for 30 more years, am I actually going to reach the goals that I've set? How much money do I have put away? Is it a consistent amount? Am I consistently investing it in a way that will protect my capital and give me a little bit of extra cabbage at the end? Stuff like that. Yeah. If you're anything like everybody else, and you probably are because that's everybody, it's not going to work. So you've got to find a way to do something on your own. And I know it could be network marketing. It could be informational marketing. It could be affiliate marketing. There are so many different things that you can do without having to actually create your own thing. You can do that later, but you can get started now with something, and it, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever looks like it's a good idea to you, I highly recommend you jump on it right now. Lose everything when you don't have anything. <laughs> like if you say you're 22 years old, it's like, go balls out, you can, it doesn't matter. You can, you can, totally crash and burn you got time to, to pick it back up but if you're getting later in the game you know you got to start moving and do it fast so keep that in mind start looking and grab a hold of something that's all i got for now i'm out